remember just just last night I started babbling about Jab, the John Afro band, and I was like, I, I called Robert. And I was asking you, like, if you had some means to get like an uh, like a cassette tape on the digital, so yeah, I could yeah. put it online and share with everyone. And then as I was telling everyone in Ventrilo about this, and and this being that like, um, one of my friends in in college is uh, he grew up in what is it, Palm Desert, yeah, right. and he would go back, you know, on like one weekend a month or something. And, and some guy that he'd gone to high school with, well, this one friend, Anthony Sestich, and then um, was like, you know, playing drums or something and Mike played guitar. But they got this guy from their high school named uh, Montpellier. And he's a Haitian guy, but he had brain damage because he was in a coma after being hit by a truck. Or so the story went. And he was a singer. He wanted to be the singer for this band. And they made this, they cut this tape. The thing is fucking crazy. It's like his name is John. Oh, yeah, John was his other like his other name uh, outside of his Haitian name. Yeah. And then so he had like a song. It's just like called John and on and on and on. And it's like he's just like I'm John and on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm John and on and on and on and on. Was it like hardcore music? Yeah, yeah totally sounds, hardcore. Kind of sounds like a like a punk hit. And like totally be yeah. the, the raddest thing is he had these just like just delusions of grandeur and talking about how, you know, he, he's like, who's the tough guy? John, who's the hot shot? John, who's the muscle man? John, I'm John Afro and I break you leg. And then like, <laughs> start screaming and shit. And, uh, and, and meanwhile, they said it was creepy as hell watching him sing. So you take his shirt out and he's a really big dude. And he'd just be like rocking back and forth and like sweating profusely, oh. just screaming and stuff. And another red idea is that they had him cover Louie Louie, which is like infamously unintelligible. Yeah. And he didn't know the lyrics, of course, either. So it was like doubly <laughs> awesome for him to be doing a cover, a cover of that. And, and another song was called Gordy. And it was about uh, Anthony's dog, I think, and how he like jacked it off one time <laughs> but so okay as i'm telling about these songs i'm just like re remembering i mean, dude another one kelly and ali is because one of them had pictures of these girls from their school like, you know after you know they they graduated kelly and ali who and he, they convinced them to you know get get naked and get in the shower and make out and he took some pictures so they showed john afro this and that was like the, like really good shit for him you know so he, yeah. he had a song about them and what he wanted to do with them. And then also the, the main song to bring it together is one called Post Office. And that's because his dad was really protective, understandably so, and didn't want him really hanging out with anyone. Yeah. Because Lord knows he'd end up with Mike and Anthony who had convinced him to be the singer of their <laughs> band. Uh, and so he, he was allowed to go to the post office. So that was his alibi for everything. If he'd want to go to steal some cigarettes, he'd go to the post office. If he wanted to go to smoke some bud, he'd go to the post office. If he wanted to go record an album, it was the post office. So the song is just like, post office is the place I go to smoke some bud, to check the mail. Post office is the place I go to steal some cigarettes, to get weed. <laughs> but so, okay, as I'm wrapping up the story, all of a sudden, invent, I hear it. And I was like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Who's doing that? And as I told it, they started searching online. And sure enough, they found a MySpace for it. So oh someone God. in the band put four of the songs up. Um, and you could hear them. So it's under Jab, like the MySpace. John Afro Dot band. MySpace.com slash Jab, right? Yeah. But it's missing all the other songs. And then the extended interview afterwards. So it's still worthwhile for me getting this put. And the quality of mine, I think, is probably better. But getting this up there because some of these songs are classics. Nice. The 
post office, the post office, the post office, the post office. Anytime, I need a friend. And the post office, the post office. Anytime, I'll see you today. I got the post office, the post office. Anytime, and I look for something. I got the post office, the post office, the post office is the place I go to find something to get meaning. The post office is a place I go to smoke some bad, to pay some bills, to feel something good. Yeah, yeah.